It's the last trading day of the first half of the year and how investors getting set to digest half year and second quarter earnings. I have Mukta Mohamed, an analyst at Asar Investment. He joins me now as we look at how markets have fed so far. Mukta, thank you so much for your time today. And I'm just looking at the numbers here in terms of a review of the first half of the year. Yesterday, performance, was, uh, performance of, the, of the bosses here in West Africa, the NGX up 21% year to date. The peers in West Africa, the, the Ghana Stock Exchange is down 8.8%, while the BRVM is up just 2.3%. Uh, what's playing out here in terms of how investors are looking at the markets here in West Africa? Um, thank you, um you see, the market in West Africa has different challenges, different microeconomic challenges, especially in the West African um, 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 region. Where we look at Ghana, Ghana also of recent, they were having protests about hardship. They are all, I mean, the people are protesting about it. And again, the Russian-Ukraine crisis have affected um, every part of West Africa, and especially the companies. Um, but, you know, the, the beauty about... Um, most countries like Ghana and others, is they don't have so much um, power um, disruptions like what we have in Nigeria, where you have power failure and the company's overhead cost is going high by the day. And they, they are only grappling with the price of gas and um, uh, PMS also that has gone up in this country. But in Nigeria, we are we are grappling with that also. Then we are looking at uh, as, 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 a, as most companies are also. Um, during their production, 24 uh, hours through um, this avenue of getting gas. All right, but Mr. I'd like you to speak to Nigeria's performance here. 21% when you compare it to how it performed last year. And I think the real story here is what's, what played out in the second quarter. When I look at it, second quarter, NGX is up 10.5%. Compared to its peers, the, the Ghana Stock Exchange was down 7.3%, while uh, the BRVM was also down 5.3%. You could, you could attribute that to, um, to the high cap stocks. Stocks like MTN, they've not lost so much. Um, um, also, you look at stocks like uh, um, Keynes, Nigerian PLC, they are, they are selling at their all-time high. So most of those high-cap stocks were the ones that really lift up the index. But if you look at most of the liquid stocks in the index, you're talking about the banking stock, you realize that most of them are in their 52 weeks uh, low. So, but uh, for the um, gain that you see in stocks like MTN, and others. We may have seen Nigeria and um, Bona go down too. Right, because when you look at um, um, catalysts that could further drive Nigeria's performance, of the, the performance of the NGX here, um, half your numbers are, uh, are expected very soon. And I'd like to get what you make of what we can see play out in terms of the industrials, uh, the consumers, and even the banks. Well, when you look at the industrial consumer, I've just told you we, 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 we'd like to see those numbers coming out, especially with the high cost of production, with inflation, with volatility in terms of exchange rate, we're really, we're really looking out. I, I'm not so excited about that, that space yet. And knowing that that space is not a space that is even paying anything, uh, like I keep saying that Nigerian investors are, are dividend um, investors, especially when you when you look at uh, most of the retail investors that are, seems to be the one driving the market. So you, you may see a reshuffling of some of them leaving those industrial heavies that are giving them some profit and going into the low cap stock, like the banking stock that are going to pay dividends. And so you look at them, you see volume begin to raise high for, for stock like UBE, Assets Bank, GetCo, GTCO, and also you see that also play out in Zenit. And then if you want to see um, investors keen up for, for futuristic return, it's maybe looking at the year and then you need not to take your eyes off Fidelity Bank. Just yesterday, their feed rating went up. And also that bank has not given... Um, uh, we're expecting that third quarter result. And going by by what they did in the first quarter and the year end, it's it stocks that um, investors are putting their eyes on. Yeah, definitely. Because when you look at how the, perf the performance has been, I think another big part of this story is the some sectors that are doing exceptionally well. For example, yeah. the oil and gas sector is up 57% year to date and 23% uh, when you look at the second quarter performance. Well, uh, what do you make of what we've seen play out in the oil and gas space, Mukta? I think the oil and gas is mostly paid up by what you are seeing pay up in uh, in, in surplus. Surplus seems to be the bigger mover, mover in that sector, and you know that um, surplus is enjoying because they are the fully um, um, they are a fully oil company that is in the exchange, not like the others that have their marketing aspect in the exchange. The other one that we could have seen such um, um, uh, sense of price movement 
would have been a wando, but you know the crisis that is there. So definitely, I think the moving that you are seeing in that in that mindset is mostly driven by surplus, and we expect that to continue, especially when you look at the 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 the, the, the oil market. I mean, at the moment it's very bullish and it's not looking to go down in the short term. So you could say that it's a, a very good stock to buy, and that has seen it move from from to its all-time high, from its all-time low. So definitely is, is, is that, that, that's the move out of that sector.